Yeah, Mr. President, members, uh, while I uh, applaud the effort to create a, a trigger so that you have something definite that's going to take place, the only concern I've got is in years past, the uh, trigger just never seems to get pulled, even if you have a shortage of revenues. What would probably make more sense, we really ought to have like a trigger off. In other words, the, the, tr the reduction should be made now with the idea that they could be restored you know, if revenues came in, especially in light of the fact that the revenues that I understand that are being anticipated are, um, may not exactly uh, be realistic. I would uh, suggest as we start going through these, these bills that we need to understand that this uh, Democrat majority only budget doesn't really address what's going to be necessary to fix the state's chronic budget crisis. Job creation is what it's going to take. Uh, and until we get serious about it, we do something about all the additional heavy burden we're going to be placing on the business community due to our regulatory climate, the elimination of RDAs and, and other things that will be beneficial to helping to create the jobs. I, it just doesn't seem realistic that this increase of revenue is uh, going to actually materialize. Uh, this budget not only lacks regulatory relief that is critical to creating job uh, opportunities, it also lacks the reforms that Californians are demanding and deserve. Californians want a hard spending cap. Uh, the people want pension reform. This is really a, this is a hope without change budget is really what this is amounting to. It relies on the hope for billions of phantom dollars and does nothing, absolutely nothing, to change government as usual. Even worse, it's really not doing anything to put people back to work. I would strongly suggest a no vote, not only on this measure, but on the ones that will follow. Further debate or